children we know you are within the confinement of your homes we are trying to reach you through this videos please follow this videos and stay connected with us now today i am going to teach class 4 mathematics and today our topic is multiplication now we have done multiplication in our earlier classes also but today we are going to learn multiplication of a number by a two digit number that means today we are going to learn multiplying 6 2 3 7 5 the number by a two digit number 43 now 43 means four tens and three ones right so first of all what we are going to do is 6 2 3 7 5 this number we are going to multiply this number by three ones we are going to write the answer over here and next in our next step we are going to again multiply 6 2 3 7 5 5 by four tens remember children not by four but four tens that is 40 So we have to multiply this number two times, and then we are going to add the two numbers, and we are going to obtain our result, ultimate result. So let's get started. First of all, three. Now here, in the first column, that means the ones column, we have five. So we should multiply five by three. Five multiplied by three. gives you 15 now as we know children a two digit number cannot sit under one column so we write 5 over here and this one gets shifted as carry over to the next column so one is our carry over now the next number Seven times three, we are getting twenty-one. Are we going to write this twenty-one over here? No, because we have to add the carryover. We have carryover one over here, so we are getting twenty-two. Again, a two-digit number, so we are going to write two over here, and the next two is a. Carry over over here. So our next number is three. The number next to seven is three. Now we are going to multiply three by three. So we are multiplying three times three, and we are getting nine. Again, we have to add the carry over. So I am adding nine plus two, and we are getting eleven. So One we are placing over here, and one this one it will be taken as carry over to the next column. Now we have to multiply two by three, so two times three we get six. Six plus carry over one. Remember, children, never forget to add the carry overs. Otherwise, you will get a wrong answer. So six plus one, we are getting seven. Oh, relieved this time. No carryover. One digit number simply sits under this column. Now the left number six, six three times gives you eighteen. You have to learn your tables properly, children. Otherwise, you won't be able to do. Now six times three gives you eighteen. So eight over here and one. I'm writing under lakhs column, right? So we have completed multiplying this number by three. Now what is our next job? Our next job is to multiply the number once again by four tens. Remember, children, it's not by four, by four tens. Four tens means forty. We have a zero over here, so we are putting this zero over here. 
Now we can comfortably multiply the whole number by 4. So 5 times 4. We are starting from the right side. 5 times 4. 5 times 4 gives you 20. 0 is placed over here. Now 2 will be carried over to the next column. Now we have 7. 7 times 4. And it is 28. Should we write 28? No, never. Because we have a carried over 2. So this carry over 2 has to be added which gives you 30. So 30, 0 and 3. Once again, it is a carryover. Now, 3 times 4. 3 times 4 gives you how much? 12. 12 plus carryover 3 gives you 15. Now, I write 5 over here. And 1 is carry over. This one is taken as carry over. Now 2 times 4. That is 8 plus carry over 1. So it gives you 9. No more carry over. And I am writing straight away 9 over here. The next number is 6. 6 times 4 gives you 24. So, I am writing 24 over here. Now, have we finished our sum? Not at all, dear. There is little more left. We have to add these two columns. So, 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 0 gives you 1. 7 plus 5 gives you 12. So, again a carryover 1. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus carryover 1 is 18. Again carryover 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus carryover 1 is 6. And now 2. So, here we get our final result. I am writing the answer that is 26 lakhs 82,125. This is your final answer. We are putting the commas according to the periods. Now, children, see here. We have, at first, we have multiplied all the numbers by 3. 3 ones. And next, I have multiplied again all the numbers by 4. Actually, I have multiplied by 4 tens. This 0, I have already placed over here. So, I hope you all have understood multiplication. But only watching the videos is not going to do children. So, from your book. Your textbook. Try. Exercise. Book. Exercise 6B. You all are going to try some number. 3, 5, 6 and 7. This is all for today. Meet you in the next video.